Hey everybody, it's Demon here. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Demon Cast. You're listening to Breaking the Rise of the Rune Lords, episode 15. Everybody is your friend. The friend effect wears off. So how many out? How many addresses does Yugi have now? Oh god damn it! <laughs> uh, around ten. Oh, by Her the way, kitchen like charm is just too powerful for these. I'm totally making sure you have you go on your date. What? Which one? Oh, the no. the original one. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, Yuki's gonna turn on everything that is not at least female. The coroner is female. I yeah. know, so she said she turned on everybody who isn't female today. <laughs> or like, tonight. That still leaves four. This uh, is about... Age? Uh, young. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Your age. Jesus. How old are you? 16. Oh. Wow, you are young. How old is Lies? Uh, she appears to be 20. Well, fuck. <clears throat> so. Trust me, little kid. Trust me, little fox girl. Looks are deceiving. So, uh, what do you do now? Um, because it is we, now nightfall. We sleep the stink away. <laughs> Once you wake up, the stink finally fades. To the apartment building. All the you notice that all the wallpaper in your room has completely peeled off. Shit, I don't want to pay for that. Whoa! Right, press the digitation. Press the digitation. You fix the wallpaper. Hoorah! It is still greenish. Press digitation. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care if it's still. Greenish, just as long as it's still stuck to the wall. Yeah. It is now day. Brilliant. Um, to the apartment building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Sister. Mm hmm. Big sister. Because she's older, apparently. Oh, okay. You had to do so that, that is. I have it right then. Okay. Great. And you walk yeah, in. Big. Okay. Um, we would like to talk. I would like to speak to the manager. <clears throat> I can do that. <sighs> well, the, the man around the counter heads back and grabs the manager. The manager walks in. He is wearing a. He looks very out of place, wearing a gigantic top hat, three sizes too large, a tie, three t sizes too small, and no shoes to speak of, or pants. You got the feeling this might not be the manager. Sense motive. Roll. You got to find it. Seven. You don't think he's doing anything wrong. Okay, he's totally the manager. You you want to roll sense motive? Why well, I'm bad at that. What's your what's your bonus to that stuff? Um to sense motive? My yeah. bonus is a minus two. Oh well, you're worse than I am. Still way better than I am. You determine that this guy isn't, doesn't really seem to be who he looks like he is. Charm person! <laughs> you want to know, she brings up her sword and activates it. Now we're friends. And then I charm person. <laughs> Just double dip on this. To make sure he tells us everything. Fuck, seven rounds. Oh, damn it. You messed up? 
No, it's seven rounds of everybody singing. Or I guess oh, God. I know that. Everyone is singing. Interesting. Um... Okay. So, After for the next minute right? plus. <laughs> and then I use uh, Charm Person to raise well, his friendliness with me even higher. At this point, the person has walked, is trying to walk away. But I'm talking to them. I'm casting Charm Person on them. That's very interesting. Why don't you try to roll? Um, they have to roll a will save. Okay. Seven plus eight. Interesting. So, yeah. Seven plus eight? Uh, Fifteen? Does that save? No. Seventeen. Okay. So now they're like, super my friend. Well. Nice to meet you, my friend. This is going to turn the last minute. What do you want? Oh, um, we were wondering who lived in the particular room of which the window was. Or who has been there in the last couple days. He looks at Lies. He looks at Yuki. And then he disappears. Uh, hey, uh, Yuki, uh, um, Poro, do me yeah. a favor and, uh, send me that spell you like casting so much. You mean the invisibility? The invisibility, yes. Oh yeah, it's they're just invisible. They go invisible. He's they now, get. He's now invisible, and he gets away. Well, no, we get a perception check. What he gets? If he is he moving? Yeah, he's moving. Well, then he gets a plus twenty to his stealth roll. Okay. But we do get checks versus our terrible perceptions. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Twenty-four. But he's my friend. Tell me. Yes, yeah. but he sees. But he's he's not he lies, friend. Well, I'll go to twenty-five. Maybe. Oh, you got a good roll. You uh, just barely make out something um, skating into the back room. She's going to go invisible and follow them. Uh, would you roll it again for when you lose sight of them and then try to see them again? Mm. Damn it. I feel like this is more of a listening thing. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so as you round the... Because, like, uh, I'm picturing, so, like, here's a reception desk, and then on the left, like, and you're on, like, the right, so he's disappeared through the door, so you would need to roll again, uh, because you're oh. looking. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I forgot something. What's up? I should have just thrown a paintball at him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, so, he gets away, and what do you do? He's only just got away. Um, so the guy who was at the reception desk who went back to get this guy, mm -hmm. um, can I ask him who that person was? What person? The one who just cast invisibility and ran off. Who? Listen, you gotta tell me information or I'm gonna get really pissed. Intimidate. <laughs> A terrible roll. 16. I don't know who you're talking about. I've been standing here and then you threaten me? What's happening? Sends motive to see if he's doesn't actually know what the hell's going on. 10. Yuki? 7. <laughs> you... you... You feel like he literally doesn't have any idea what's going on. Uh, can I You're give a basic? Can I can I give a basic 
generic description of what the person looked like and see if he has any recollection recollection of somebody that fits that description. The person of the person you saw or the person manning the desk right now. I'm asking the person manning the desk right now if he's ever seen anybody with the description of the person I saw. I've never seen anyone like that before. I mean, uh, the uh, the and for that matter, the only person that works up here is me. I'm the manager. Okay. I've learned all I need to know. All right, sir. No, I actually, know. I need to take a walk or something. Have a nice okay. day. You too. He tosses you a lozenge. <laughs> Thank you. I eat the lozenges, even though I don't need it. <laughs> you feel as though he's probably hinting something about your breath. Oh, you think my breath is bad now? But you laugh at your flesh. <laughs> Good God. Um, Actually, so what do you guys do now? Um, so I go to the back of the building where I think the windows that this person might have climbed out are and see if there's any open windows. There is an open window. Oh, great. Now, if only we had Argani to track tracks. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a Fox, you're part animal. Yeah, but I don't think... Fuck for track, track. Sniff the trail <laughs> and track. A second. Oh no, I'm turning into a racist. Completely. All humans look the same. I'm treating the fox <laughs> like an actual fox. In the distance, you hear "Stop right there, Colonel Scum." <laughs> oh, I. Well, she's gonna try. Back in the game. There we go. Survival. Eleven. Okay. Uh, I forgot you can't see that. Oh, that's eleven. You don't notice anything that. What's the second thing you rolled? Oh, I rolled a uh, sur- uh, survival also. I got yeah. a seven. Neither of you notice anything. Yeah. We shall walk around town asking about a description of a specific persons. You want to roll a... Uh, I don't know what you should roll. Yeah, it's a oh, diplomacy. Okay. Which did go up. I now have a plus four. Because I have an enchanting smile. Fourteen. Twenty-nine. <laughs> Twenty-nine. <Is> that... <laughs> okay. Yuki finds... Y- Yuki asks around and finds one person, specifically a small child, where the... If you've seen the person, and the child responds with, Yeah, I saw him. He, was, he went over there. He, he points into an alley. And you want to roll a perception check? Oh, boy. Actually, I want to detect magic on the little boy. Yuki hears the faint sound of running. Well, Yuki's going to go after him while she's detecting magic. (laughs) Is the little boy magic? The little boy not only is magic, but is blindingly magic. Blindingly magic. As in, you, the the aura of magic around him when when vi- when visible is literally blinding. Okay. Hold on. I, that meant to be. I meant that for the be a GM role, but. A nearby forest catches on fire. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and a bird falls from the sky. 
That was the effect, by the way. Crazy. You um, set the nearest forest ablaze. Yeah, obviously I'm blinded for a moment, and Yuki has a way head start, and I start after Yuki. <laughs> the child melts into goop, by the way. Yeah, I think Liza's assuming it was a god. <laughs> Uh, Yuki, roll an acrobatics check. Um, Only I was keeping. Okay, so you keep up. Now roll a perception. Fourteen. You keep up with the sound, but you do not end up seeing him. The sound is definitely getting louder, however. Okay, I'm going to keep chasing him. Another acrobatics. How far away am I from Yuki at this point? A significant distance. Yuki is running pretty fast, and the sound, it almost, you can tell that the sound is probably coming only a few yards in front of you at this point. Can I throw a paintball directly in front of me? See if you can see him yet. Twenty You, you no, you have to beat twenty-four, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, can I throw a paintball at like the direction I hear the sound? Sure. Uh, what would be the negative for not being able to see your target? Uh, oh, a mischance. Yeah, 50%, 50% mischance. Okay. So roll a mischance, yeah. Do I hit? So, does that hit, Demon? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually at the computer. Well, yeah. One to five is a miss. Yeah. Six. Okay. Five. So you'll hit if you do the thing properly. Is a flat-footed AC? Give me a minute. Okay. You need to get the right thing here. Uh, what did you have to roll? 17 to flat-footed. Just barely hits. Cool, now he's painted. Oh. You can see... You can see that the person... You can make out... The person, and you can uh, you you can now definitely you know tackle them if you get a bit closer. Roll an acrobatics. Twenty six. You are within tackling range at this point. Am I within slashing? No, 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 no. Never mind. If you make That's... an attack move, I'm going to have to ask you to roll for initiative. Yeah, then I will finish it up. Okay. Is Lies at all close enough to see paint? Uh, sure. In one more round. Okay. As long as you're running. It's my initiative. It didn't go on the tracker. Oh, well, we don't no have tokens. tokens. Yeah, let me fix that. Uh, we're not. We're still not actually going to, you know, uh, have an environment for this. It's fine. Or, well, actually, no. We can. I'll reuse this. Uh, I'll, I'll just reuse this. Um. So, yeah, th- this will do. So Yuki, uh, you can, uh, you you can adjust your thing. Um, so you the paintball hits the thing. You're about here. Lies is about here. Um. Okay, so they're rounding a corner. Yeah, yeah, you're about to round a corner. And the you're on the thing twice for some reason. That's funny. 
And then let me let me roll the initiative for this guy. Yeah, I'm not on the thing at all. Well, okay, so we had that glitch again. Yeah, that every time you leave people on the initiative tracker and move. Yeah. The one with a 10 is correct. Okay, uh, Yuki's turn. Okay, well, I'm going to five foot step and forward, actually. Running, I guess, I don't know. Twenty-four hit foot footed. Yes. Nineteen damage. God. And fifteen hit foot footed. Uh, that misses. Okay. So how much damage? Nineteen. Yeah. All right. Give me a second. Oh, so he's like lies over here. And then that, and then wait, I didn't do that right. There we go. Okay, it is the spell. It is the mysterious spellcaster's turn. She, and it isn't she. Uh, you find out. Turns around. And attempts to cast. This is bad. Oh yes, this is very bad. Um, she is going to attempt to cast a dimensional door. I'm gonna go on when I get my time to do them. Uh, yeah. Well, it's an instantaneous thing. Yeah, it, the thing is, she still has to cast the spell. Okay. And Does a 19 confirm the crit? Yeah. 18 damage, which means her DC is 28 to finish the cast. Uh, so roll, uh, what do I need to roll? Uh, you need to roll a DC 28 spell cast, or concentration check. Okay. Constitution. Concentration. Concentration. Well, how do I ca- get concentration? Um, I think it's caster level plus int mod. That might be a caster level check. I'm going to Google it. Uh... Which seems logical. So, caster level plus... Um, intelligence mod. Intelligence mod. Okay, so five. Yeah. Okay. Concentration checks. Uh, twenty-three total. Does not confirm, or does she doesn't get a cast as well? She does get to cast her spell, or doesn't? She doesn't. Okay. All right, well, it is Lai's turn. She's yeah. almost dead. That's not almost... good. We need her alive. Five, ten, fifteen. She's very, 20. very badly hurt. Lai shall cast Deep Slumber right here. That is a DC-17 will save. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Nat 1. Brilliant. She falls unconscious. For five minutes. Brilliant. What do you do with her? Don't kill her. Tie her up and gag her. Okay. Make I'm gonna him... tie her up. Yes, rope. But make sure, but making sure to like intertwine the ropes, the rope between her fingers and stuff, so she can't like use her hands. Yes, we need to and stop her from gesticulating and speaking. Okay. 
A sleight of hand. Perfect. Oh. You want to you want to confirm that, Yuki? I'll that's not that a that's not really a thing, but okay. Okay. What I would I mean, we have do, five minutes. What to I would have had you do is tie up your own wrists. <laughs> oh. So, like, what? I waste a minute and then I have to try again or something? Yeah. I have a perception check to see if he did um, a crappy job, but. 20? Is 20 enough to do what we wanted? Sure. Okay, now what? You've tied her up? Well, no. He's asking lies now. Oh. Um. Being out of the street would be nice. What's in the buildings next to us? Uh, there's just uh, assorted houses and shops. Great. How far are we from our cart? Oh, fair distance. Are you from the Russian Dragon? Uh, probably within walking distance, but it would be significant. Hmm. Probably like 20 minutes of dragging her. 20, 30. Secure that. Let's see what I got for spells. Uh, Burn that one up. Damn. How many people are in this streetway around us? Uh, small, just the random passers-by. None, none seem to question your actions. Okay. A I'm bird set hits her. you on the head. I want to set her. <laughs> Ignore it. Um, set her up against the wall. Slap her awake. Ah. What? Where am I? Um... A dark alley. Well, not quite so dark, but an alley. Uh, What are you doing with me? Why am I tied up? That is a very good question. Why are you tied up? Hold on. I'm I'm just looking at I'm trying to look at a certain stat. Okay, there we go. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know where I am, and I don't know why I'm tied up. Uh, she rolls a a four for attempt to uh, for a diplomacy check. Oh, to convince us of shit? To convince you that she's fine. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, I'm not buying shit in she general. She poorly feigns ignorance. Okay. Tell us everything. So, here's the thing. I only know one spell um, going into this, and that is um, basically electrocution. This is her this is her true form by the way. Ooh my my. Well oh, hello there. Oh that's a snake. <laughs> Me likey snakes. And scantily dressed. So, so what do you do? Um I am telling her that I only have one actual spell uh prepared several times, and that is the ones that does the uh massive amounts of electrocution. Oh but don't worry, we won't kill you. You want to roll an intimidate? Ah, dice has failed me. Wait, you know what? Three. Um, Yuki's gonna like try like intimidate. Leader. Wait a second. Yeah, what? Three? What the hell? Oh, that's you initiative. Uh, that should be a twenty-eight. I gotta update my macro. Okay. Um. Initiative. <laughs> All right. All right. What do you want to know? Um, the guy stuffed in a barrel. 
What do you know about him? She doesn't seem to want to tell you. Oh, I know she doesn't want to tell me. But I'm going to pull the wand of shocking grasp and um, put it to her fleshy bits and say, with a hideously evil smile, I give you to the cat at three. All right. One. All right. All right. Oh. I was hired. I was hired to frame you. Frame me. Yes, you've you've made some enemies. Surely you know this. Yeah. I was born with enemies. Seems like you might know more than your might more might know more than I know. The person who hired me was supposedly, and I quote, an old friend of yours. Oh, bother. Well, that Something could about the same race. Tiefling. Great. So that narrows it down to what? 5% of the world's population? That's all I know. What does he look like? I never actually got to meet him. I only heard his voice. He seems to be a powerful spellcaster. <sighs> Why should I not kill you? I, uh, I can help you. That's what they all say. And then they stab you in the back. Trust me, I've got scars to prove it. I can cast Dimensional Door. Oh, congratulations. You want to teach that for, to me for free? Hmm? Uh, it, it's harder than that to do, well, to do. I am well aware of how hard it is to write Dimensional Door. This is easy. You give me your spell book. I let you go. You know that dimensional. This is me talking, uh, GM. You know that dimensional door is a fourth level spell, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, this basically allows me to add an extra spell to my spell book, whether I can cast it or not, without having to um, burn up one of my plus two spells per level thing. Fine, take it. I can always make another one. Yes, you can. Some asshole stole mine. And uh, I guess I'm repaying the favor. I'm going to cut her loose and start walking away. Let's go, mm -hmm. Yuki. Follow after her? Like, wait, isn't she still magic and dangerous? Yep. But we, we turned our we turned our backs on her. Won't she like She's murder us? Oh, no. okay. Wait, what's that? Oh, we cut her loose. Tied out. No, I said I cut her loose. Oh, okay. Well, she's very, very, very injured, so she has no interest in trying to endanger her life. What? She casts dimensional door and gets the fuck out of there. Yeah, I expected so. We totally could have killed her. So, uh, I want to go to the Rusty Dragon and uh, can... ponder the amount of enemies I have thus far made in my... How old am I? 40-something? Wait. Yuki doesn't know this. No, Yuki doesn't know that. Yuki but... doesn't know this. Poro's doesn't... good at uh, not metagaming. What's the fun in that? Still not going to tell him anything I know. Okay, fine. I'll deafen myself. No, I mean, well, well there's no need. No, I'm... Wait, did we... He's already done it. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't have a problem with it. But... Wait, is he different? Get back here. Other stuff you can do. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Yugi is going to spend some time with the tiger to try and befriend it and stuff. The what? The 
tiger? The tiger. Oh, yeah, the tiger cub. That Argani has been tending to while she was gone. Uh, do you want to roll a, a def- uh, animal thingy, whatever that skill is? I have an animal? Yeah. Nat 20. Damn. The, I, cub, I... the cub trusts you enough to for you to pet it lightly. Yeah. Nice. I, I'm pretty sure all of my rules this animal have been nat 20s. A week of this and it'll love you. Yeah. Brilliant. Really, every night she's been doing this. Totally. Okay. Wine. Going right up. Bartender. Uh, yep. What is my name? Uh, from what I've overheard, it's, I'm pretty sure it's uh, these. Very good. Thank you. No problem. Shit, 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 shit. Huh? Oh, happened? oh, I remember. I remember something that I can do to take my mind off this slight problem. What's that? I go knock on Yuki's door. Yeah, yeah she's playing with her tiger and funny. That tiger is definitely going to eat that bunny at some point. No. And you need to get cleaned up. What? You need to get cleaned up. Right. God damn it. Gonna take the bunny and leave the tiger with freaking Argani. <sighs> the tiger looks disappointed. I'm sorry, I'll be back in a bit. That you took away the bunny. What the fuck now? It's a predator, the bunny's prey. Well, I'm also a predator, and I don't think the bunny is prey. You're an omnivore. Have you seen me eat vegetables? Have I ever seen her eat vegetables? No. No. Hmm. Touche. <laughs> You are a sentient thing acting on weird emotions. It is a less intelligent creature acting on um, instinct. Fine. And then we should get cleaned up. Press the digitation. You're clean. Oh, wow. That's fast. Okay. I know. Isn't that great? Shower in a can. (laughs) Shower in a spell. (laughs) Pretty much. (laughs) Yeah, a cantrip. Sharon a cantrip. It's better than the cleric's version of Sharon a cantrip. Oh, they God. just create water on you. Yeah. <laughs> that's something Dryas would do. Yeah, surprisingly he has it. I don't think he has that one. Anyway, um, it's off to the address that the coroner girl gave Yuki. And I'm going to push her there, I'm going to knock on the door, and I'm going to walk away and go hide behind a corner. What's with you and... What's with Liza and setting up this poor, innocent box girl on between dates and brothels? It's fun. Liza doesn't get out much. So, what do you guys do for the day? Um... I ponder my enemies. It's also, it's night time, by the way. Yes. And uh, stalk the grounds looking for anything out of place and any familiar faces. The, 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 the guy that's always sitting there raking leaves for no apparent reason has gone missing. That's interesting. Didn't the Banshee get him? Yes. Hmm. I note that, and we'll ask the guard later. Uh, any rolls or encounters you want me to go through? Uh, just a perception check. 
Great. Because I'm brilliant at this. Ten. You don't notice the man pacing outside. Great. I pace back and forth past him. <laughs> hmm. I'm at a loss of what I can do. It is now about 1 a.m. in the game. <sighs> I go back to the bar, have another glass of wine, and go to bed. Wait, Yuki? wait, I should check on Yuki's room. Is Yuki there yet? Well, first of all, roll the perception check while you're still in the bar. Oh, because I'm brilliant at that. That's a six. Six the wines too many. The thing you notice is that there doesn't seem to be any chatter. Well, it's 1 a.m. Yeah. Hardly quiet. What? What else do you do? Wine in bed. Check to see if Yuki's home. You do so. Is, Is she? The last thing we did was drop. The last thing Liza did was drop her off at the coroner teenager's house. So what do you guys do? Is Yuki back? Is Yuki back? I don't know. What what was she doing at the coroner's house lady thing? Uh, I'd say Yuki gets back around in about in one more hour. Okay. As long as she's there in the morning, I don't care. <gasps> oh. Oh, yes. Uh, before Yuki wakes up in the morning... I would like to change the rabbit's fur color to blue. Well, before you do anything, you notice that many, many people appear to be missing today. It seems quiet. No music, no chatter. Okay. Um, Argani's gone too. I'm suddenly oh. feeling rather. I don't oh, know the word. Deception check. Great. Son of a bitch. Roll a four. Um, one second. Uh, I don't like wizards anymore. The perception sucks. I want to go back to being a ranger. I'm a ninja. Yuki uh, looks out the window. And Yuki notes something a little different in that uh, the ground appears to be missing. And looking ahead, she notices that almost nothing. There's nothing. Anywhere. What? Where's lies? Oh, you mean like outside of the bar? Hold on. Did that did I do that effect right? Um it looks like nighttime oh we got the wall thing up. There's walls. You appear to be floating in the void. Mm. In the bar. The bar is in the void, right? The bar is in the void. Hold on. I look at Yuki. What did you do? You're the magic one. What did you do? I don't know. Um... Knowledge is planes. Go ahead. Uh, give me a d20, please. Where's my planes? My planes is... 8. 14. You think that you are in the ethereal plane. What do I know about the ethereal plane? 
It is very ethereal. Is there anybody here at all? The chef and the owner of the bar seem to be continuing their work unaware of anything that has changed. Gonna try and talk to them like, uh, you guys know that nobody's here, right? Well, that's kind of weird. It's the middle of the day. And we're floating in a void? <laughs> the she ethereal laughs. plane. Yeah, right. To All right. Project. That's enough. Let me get back to work, guys. No, no, really. Come look out the window. No, I'm working. I'm making food for the guests. Leave her be. Carol? Okay. Leave them be. Okay. We're in a war. I figure there's almost no way in hell she'll, she'll believe you. Okay. So there's two options. Number one, uh, spell backfire, and we're going to get um, sent back to our original plane in a certain amount of time. Uh, worst case scenario, it's a permanent duration, and we get to find our own way back. In the bar. I stick my head out the window and yell, hello, in abyssal. Do any demons attack me? You hear some screams in abyssal that basically amount to shut the fuck up or sleeping. And uh, go away. And no one gives a shit. Something along those lines. The dead instance of this place do not like us. <laughs> Nobody likes us. I like you. Oh. If we're gonna die, at least we have each other. Oh god, I don't want to die. I'll relax. We get enough food and water for a week. And, uh, and then she's going to try to hide the bunny in her shirt so it's not as noticeable. And then we can kill the owner and the chef and eat them. <laughs> Come on, guys. You can figure this out. Uh, okay. You know what? No, you can just go, like, tie herself, like, tie her around her waist, tie yeah. it to, like, the bar, and jump out the door. No, no! <laughs> Yuki begins to float away. I tie myself. Grab the rope and pull her in. You see an arm coming out of the darkness that just misses Yuki. Pull it in as fast as I possibly can. Okay, that's a bad idea. Bad, 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 bad. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to walk around the bar and look at things and touch things and then roll an arcana check to see what the heck is going on. You want to roll detect magic? Uh... Well, detect magic just allows me to roll Arcana and Spellcraft checks. Okay. 25. And what's this a roll? Uh, Either Arcana or Spellcraft. Depending Uh, on... You you determined that this... That you were definitely put here by... It doesn't seem to have been done by a specific individual. Seems to be along the terms of accident. Okay. This is a spell malfunction. Or a god fucked up somewhere. Stupid gods. And, um... What if it was Mr. Uh, the, what's his face? Uh, the shopkeeper man. Oh. oh. It's That's possible. That's an interesting idea. He screws up a lot of shit. Um... What if it has to do with the statue? We're the only two that it was used on. The You hear a voice somewhere far off in the distance. You, you're pretty sure it's that shopkeeper guy. It's always that shopkeeper it's, guy. It sounds impossibly far away, though. He's hitting a mark like down on my list of people I enjoy being around. <laughs> Uh, 
suddenly you see hundreds of rings just splatter against the glass. <sighs> Open the window. Would you with try the rings and in. take them as many as possible? Don't put them on. I'm not going to put them on. I just want to keep them. Some of them appear to have crudely drawn labels on them, consisting of one letter or a number or other some form of designation of that sort. Okay, I'm going to try to take as many as you possible. You recognize it as this poor shopkeeper's handwriting. Can you just identify these? Yeah. A spellcraft. You'd have to. You'd have to identify each one individually. Oh God. Yeah, it'd take a while, but we seem to have nothing but time. Yeah. Okay, we dumped the rings on the table and started going through them. 26 for the first one. It appears to be a ring that um, makes your dick explode. What the fuck? That's it. How did he find that? He didn't find this, did he? What's that? He didn't find this, did he? (laughs) <laughs> it, it, it's one of the unmarked rings. Good. We should throw it away. Mm, <laughs> that seems like a fun prank. Oh my god, no. No, I mean, <laughs> it, no, I mean it literally, like, not the innuendo. I mean, it literally explodes. Yeah, that's how Lice took it. But, <laughs> it's like you're castrating someone. Good point. Do not... Put this on. I don't know what it'll do to you. <laughs> you do know. But I don't have a penis. She doesn't have a dick. This is true. Let's not let's not go into let's, detail. Let's about let's it. not test it. It makes your dick explode. Otherwise, you, you want to identify Thirty. Thirty for the next one. It's a it's a ring that turns that if you were to put it on a bunny would turn it into a human. Nikki, give me that ring. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Would the re- would the effects reverse if we were to take off the ring? Uh, um, yeah, I, I. No. Okay. No. Hey, wait. Oh, no, that's a twenty. Yes. You can put it on the body. Here's a question. Um, is the rabbit a male or a female? It's a girl. Okay. Bunny. First, you have to figure out a way to get a ring on a bunny's toe. Can I get the ear? Nope, nope, that'd be bad. That'd be a bad idea. Uh, uh, that's why I said if. 31 for the next one. Man, I'm rolling amazing on these checks. You'll probably have to figure out a way to shrink it down, Yuki. Is there a uh, ring that shrinks things down? <laughs> uh, the next ring lies finds is a ring that teleports you into the the the, le- the final level of hell, where all the worst people in the universe go. So that's where he went. <laughs> <laughs> we should label these. Yes, these should definitely be labeled. This I'm going to start labeled H. I'm going to start categorizing these things. And, like, properly labeling them, correct? Yeah. I ain't putting this shit on. Oh, only a 21 for the next one. You determine that it's a ring that probably has something to do with precipitation. 26. You determine that it's a ring that will make you get struck repeatedly by lightning until you die. Sounds useful. 24. Um, you determine this ring will turn you into a candle forever. This this ring is labeled just X. Because you're going to put, like, all the bad rings in a pile on the other table, and we're going to keep sorting through these. Yeah, we're totally going to, like, leave them out for people to grab eventually. Oh, 14. I have no idea. You determine the ring 
looks really pretty. Yeah. Um, for your GM note, it's the base thing is 15 plus spell level. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just making this shit up. I know. 22. You determine this ring will let you travel in... It will let you travel safely in the ethereal plane. A crudely drawn angel is drawn on it. Oh, can I sift through the other rings and see if there's another one with a crudely drawn angel? It'll take you 1d3 hours. My god, how many rings is there? What if Yugi... I Yugi said there's helps. a couple hundred. Oh. What then if Yugi helps? A 1d3... And, divided uh, by 2. <laughs> yeah. 1d3 divided by 2. Let's start sorting. Roll a 1d3. Takes you a half hour. Okay, did we find one? Yes. So. Who wants to put the ring on? Oh, let's just to make sure that's the same one and not mislabeled. 30. This ring let, lets you travel through the... Um, through... The, the, the main dimension. Main dimension, ethereal plane, same thing. It would be... That would be Earth. Just regular, normal, boring. Yeah, it's a... Broken it wing. just makes you invincible. Oh. Before you can use this ring, it explodes. Damn. Somewhere in the distance, you hear someone laughing in response to the ring exploding. In abyss like yells, shut up. It laughs more. In Infernal, um, I say, shut up. It stops. <laughs> you want to look for another one? 1d3 divided by 2. Hours. Fuck. Takes you an hour and a half to finally find another ring labeled. I want to identify it to make sure. 29. It's the same type. Oh, God. Just put on this stupid ring. No, I mean, of the uh, of the other ethereal one. You're good. Yeah, just put on this ring. Okay, she's going to put it on. I don't have to take my other ring off in order to put on a new ring, do I? I think you can have two you, rings. How many fingers oh. do you have? I have five, but I don't know how that works mechanically. You can't put a ring on your thumb. That's all. I, that's all I'll rule. Okay, I only have five fingers. Uh oh. That's a problem. So, eight rings total. Okay. Put the ring on. Anything happen? Um, you appear to get a faint aura around both of you. You feel protected. Okay, get the rope and the Yuki and toss her out. The rope and the Yuki. <laughs> Same thing she did previously. But this time I'm watching her and I can pull her back if something goes terribly wrong. You both have a faint aura around the both of you. Now you can both see it. You go into the void, and it is time to explore the nothingness. Give me just a minute. I'm going to use the bathroom quick. You are floating in the void. There is, to your left, there is nothing. To your right, there is nothing. To the north is the building, and to the south, there is nothing. Behind you, there is nothing. 
Okay. I grab a hold of Yuki and float in a random direction. You float in a random direction. Um, you should you should try to think of a way that you can get out of this place. You still have a few bags of rings. You seriously want me to just like run through the rings? Because I will. I will totally sit here and roll all kind of checks. <laughs> okay. Eighteen. 14, 29. All right, you find one of the rings. Okay, I know. (laughs) One of the rings you find um, is a locator, and it it will let you um, track one person of your specification. Uh, Yuki. Yeah. Nope. He... he it gave me a locator. I can track Yuki. Oh. I'm marking that down on my list. And I will forever always know where you are. That's terrifying. You didn't use it on... You didn't use it to find the shopkeeper. Oh. Can I change it? No. Okay. I have to find another one. 24, 20, 17. Okay, fine. Just, I see what you're doing here. You you eventually find another one with the same label. Okay. Uh, 31 to make sure it's actually the same. Because apparently this shopkeeper sucks. Man, you guys don't like the shopkeeper. Oh, I love the shopkeeper. He's just an insane, crazy bastard. Um, you spot something, and you think he's this way. I float that way. Do it. I float after her. Uh, I gotta zoom out more. You feel that he... Hello there! You found it. Someone finally found me. I thought I was done for. I lost my bag of rings. I was trying to find the right one to get back. Oh, you mean the right one's actually in this bag? Yeah, there's a there's a ring that will take me back to my shop. How, why, wait, what are you even doing here? I have no idea. Did... Oh, no. The entire bar. For once in his entire life, he has a look of fear on his face. What did you do? I think one of the artifacts I found may have transported all of Sandpoint into random dimensions. That sounds mildly fun. And terrifying. There's one way to fix it, but it's dangerous. It always is. It we, always is. It's a, it involves a ring. You, we have to put on a ring, and it will take us back to town. And as long as we're all, as long as one of us is connected, we can magically pull the town back together. Well, Yuki... Want to visit a couple interesting dimensions. So basically, you guys have to form a magical rope. So like one of you would go into one dimension, one of you would go in the other, and one of you has to get back to Sandpoint. So. I'm not good with magic stuff. No, I'm doing the planes diving for sure. He roots through your bag until he finds his rings. I knew you had them. Um, And he proceeds to just start tossing rings randomly into the void until he finds the ones he's looking for. Yeah, I hope none of those were useful. (laughs) He he eventually finds three rings that look relatively the same, and she hands them out. Okay. 
All right, are we all ready? I don't know which place this will take us to, only only that one of them will take us to Sandpoint. Um, we'll take the wearer to Sandpoint. 1929 and 24. Can I get an idea of which way these planes might go? You got the. You think that Yuki's one is the one that goes to Sandpoint. You're pretty sure, and you're very confident that um, uh, his ring will take him to the eighth level of hell, and yours will take you to a uh, another part of the ethereal plane. Okay. I look at so you. So he's wrong about one of them taking them to Sandpoint. What do you mean? You said Yuki's would take him to Sandpoint. Oh, sorry. What? Uh, I have. I, I completely forgot. It's ah. past midnight. I'm telling you. Yeah, I told you. You hit a wall. I'll be fine. Though. We put the rings on. We finish right. with the hell. And just don't forget to. And as before, he says that you guys teleport. <laughs> That guy really needs to work on his uh, spellcraft checks. And so, time passes, and uh, Yuki, what do you do in Sandpoint? Sandpoint appears to be okay, only there seem to be random holes in the ground. What was I not supposed to figure out? You're supposed to find a place to anchor yourself. You're going to be the anchor that people pull. Uh, um, fuck. Can I find something really... Can I find something bolted down to and they get under it? Or sure. Fuck? I don't know. No, yeah. Find something bolted down. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold myself to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magical uh, tendrils attached to you from other dimensions, from two other dimensions, and you get the feeling you probably should anchor yourself really securely. And the will do it as well. And, okay, on Poro's, I'm sorry, and on Lysan, what do you do? Um, I'm somewhere in the ethereal plane still, correct? Yes, there are some. Uh, Demons just pointing and laughing at you. Look at this freak. Look at this idiot. So tiny. Look at those. Look at those horns. Just oh my god, you're adorable. Actually, this place seems kind of nice. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm looking for parts of Sandpoint. Going to uh, the other guy's perspective. Um, he is uh, screaming as he. Burns in the eighth circle of hell. Probably should have mentioned that was a bad ring for him. Yeah, you never told him. Yeah. You both pull and then grapple and then try to climb back into Sandpoint. Using you Yuki as an anchor. Roll a will save. Oh boy. Nat 20. <laughs> oh, Three. God. Lies. Arise. Lies is in a very familiar location. Um, and uh, hold on. You don't see anything yet, even though I've moved it over. I have ten minutes. Hold on. It's okay. Okay. You'll you'll make it. Uh, you. Lies wakes up. In the inn. And you see, you look around, and you see Yuki. Just covered in out, uh, just her face is just drenched in alcohol. And you look to your left and you see the shop owner also totally and completely inebriated. 
do stumble around. You are still very, very drunk. What do you do? I'm very drunk? Yes. Roll a perception check. 17. You realize that you drank yourself into a heavy stupor. So there is no ring of always know where Yuki is? No. Well, I'm going to roll a one more perception check. 21, not 20. In your pocket, you feel something. I pull it out. It is the ring. Maybe it wasn't a dream after all. I'm going to drag the drunken Yugi back to her room, come back down here, order another wine, and slam my (laughs) face into the desk. (laughs) So, the scenario I rolled was teleport into the ethereal plane. Brilliant. (laughs) That was was the, the description I had to work with. I love this, whatever the hell you're rolling with. <laughs> Always rolling with I, the punches. I love improv. It's so much fun. <laughs> Give me a prompt and I can do it. This is the best Rise of the Rune Lords campaign there is. Because <laughs> it's just so batch insane. It is. That's you what just makes... perverted it. Yeah. yeah, right? I ruined everything. But yeah, so... None of that happened, except for you got the ring because you rolled a nat 20. That's amazing. So, um, so for the shop, so uh, how do you want to interpret what has happened? Hmm. Uh, I have no fucking idea. Any... It's all 100% actually happened the way I remember it. I just don't remember what happened after we split up. Yeah. So what was the will save I failed? Did the event... Well, the will save you failed determined whether or not you woke up and you had a chance of keeping an item. If you rolled a a nat 20. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Which is supposed to be... Really unlikely, and he did it anyway. I have a near useless item that I will use all the time. <laughs> Determining where UP is at any time. Is it like a that way X amount of feet type thing? A little bit more than that. Maybe more like I have, like you know, when someone's behind you and you have you base you sort of already know where they are. Mm. You, you have a general feeling of where they're standing. It's like that. You just kind of know where she is. Like she's in the peripheral, but if you actually turn that way, she's not there. Exactly. Got it. It's a feeling. More than just like X feet away, but still not exact. Nice. Always watching. <laughs>